Okay, class, so why don't you title it the biological basis? This is the brain. Specifically, this is looking at the hindbrain. So you want to make sure that you title it and underline it. If you don't want to listen to the video, you can always read pages 69 to 71. So the brain overall is the most complex system, natural or man-made, in the entire world. It's faster than a computer. Um, an average brain is about three pounds. If you were looking at a grain of sand, this grain of sand, the small little speck, would contain over 100,000 neurons. So imagine how many neurons are in your brain. You have at least 10 billion of them. Okay, um, We use about 2,000 per day, and we still end up with over 98% of our brain cells. There are three different brain areas that you do need to know. Okay, the first one we're looking at here is the hindbrain. It's the innermost area of the brain. And it controls our survival functions. So this is the video we're going to focus on today. Okay, if you look at this area, this area is the hindbrain. Okay, the red area. You might want to draw this little image as best you can in your notes and kind of point to this area that this is the hindbrain. The next area of the brain is known as the midbrain. AP Psych doesn't spend much time reviewing the midbrain, but it's this little blue area, and it's responsible for some of our movement. The last region is broken out into two parts. It's known as the forebrain. The next video we talk about will look at the limbic system, which controls our emotions, hunger, and memory, and it pretty much sits in the middle area of the brain, this green area. Then the last area, the, the um, I think it's video seven, is going to talk about the cortex, which is this yellow area. So you might want to label this as the cerebral cortex. It's known as your gray matter. You've heard about that. Okay, so this area we're going to talk about today is the hindbrain. Okay, so kind of just the drawing, make sure you have this in your notes. Hindbrain, midbrain, and then remember the, um, the forebrain is broken apart into the limbic system and the cortex. So let's talk about the hindbrain. Okay, the hindbrain, one area of the hindbrain is known as the brainstem. The brainstem is the oldest and central core of the brain. It's in charge of your automatic survival functions. So I would underline the oldest part, and I would also underline the automatic survival functions. Okay, the location of it, it's the central most portion of the brain. It's between what we know as the spinal cord and the area of the thalamus. The brain stem is made up of four different areas. It has the medulla, the pons, reticular formation, and the thalamus. And then this isn't so much made up of it, but what hangs off the back is the cerebellum. Okay, so the brainstem and these five parts make up what is known as the hindbrain. Okay, its whole role is it takes nerves from the rest of the body and brings it to the brainstem. So it takes nerves from the spinal cord all the way up and it takes it to the other areas of, in the brain. An important fact is it is the oldest part. Okay, so if we take a look at the brainstem here, Okay, this whole area, okay, is the brain stem, all right, it is the innermost area of the brain, okay, it is all part, this is known as, all of this area is known as the hindbrain, okay, and we're going to start going through other areas that are attached to the brain stem. Here, this whole area is known as the brain stem, okay, and you have, obviously, the medulla located on there, the reticular formation, the pons, and then the thalamus sits at the top. Okay, and then what hangs off the back is what's known as the cerebellum. And we're going to go through each part now. Okay, so the next part of the hindbrain is the medulla. The medulla is the swelling at the bottom of the brain stem. Okay, so right here at the bottom, there's a little bulge that pops out. Okay, this is the medulla. Again, this little red area here is the medulla. You might want to draw this in your notes. Okay, it's responsible for breathing, blood pressure, and heart rate. And then Important thing is the medulla operates on autopilot and we're not even aware it's happening. It takes care of all those survival functions for us. Next one is the pons. Okay, it's located right above the medulla. 
Okay, so here's the medulla. It's located this little blue area right above it. Okay, it helps relay uh, signals to the cerebellum. Okay, so it sends information to the cerebellum. And it also helps with sleep. The locus cornelius is the interesting fact. And it is the nucleus in the pons involved with our physiological response in stress and panic. So there's a little area in the pons that also helps deal with stress and panic. So I would, again, maybe on the drawing you had from before, just locate the pons right above it. For the reticular formation, again, is a part of the hindbrain. Okay, it's located inside the medulla. Okay, so you have this little area. It's located inside the medulla and the pons on the brain stem. Okay, its job is to keep us awake and alert. So if you're falling asleep in class, you can blame your reticular formation. It's also responsible for censoring um, and screening sensory information. Okay, it helps our bodies stay focused. So you got this blue area here is the reticular formation. It runs through the pons and the medulla on the brainstem. It also is right here on the brainstem. So you might again want to draw this in your notes. Okay, the cerebellum. The cerebellum we kind of talked about is in the back of the brainstem. Okay, so here's the cerebellum. All right, it coordinates, it helps with movement. Um, and it also helps with walking and dancing. It, is, it also is impacted with judgment. People know it as the little brain because it kind of looks like a little brain. And it's also known um, to be looking like a ball of yarn. This is the back of the brain. Okay. This is the front portion of the brain. All right. So this hangs in the back of your head. So if you've ever been really hit really hard and you lose your balance in the back of the head, okay, that's where the cerebellum is controlled. Okay. You might want to just stay note. Okay, so the hindbrain, what are the different parts of the hindbrain? The pons, you should know, the medulla, okay, the reticular formation, okay, the other ones that you should know, okay, so cerebellum hangs off the back, but all of these are known um, to be found, why can I not spell that? Am I not able to spell cerebellum right now? Cerebellum is all part of the hindbrain. So all of these structures, okay, in the brainstem are the ones that you should know for class tomorrow and be able to talk about. See you in class.